Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are well. It's Rachel here, and I am back with the 100 day project. And it is day 91. And this request was from Tammy, and it's a French country and or chickens. So, um, I didn't want to go and like you can find some chickens and hens and roosters and stuff um, on the internet, but. It's a, you know, it takes a bit of time. So what I did was I went to one of my favorite shops, Nostalgia Graphic Land on Etsy, and I'll link them um, in the description box. And I remembered that they had lots of um, sort of um, French sort of types of uh, papers. Some of them I already had. A couple of these I bought. I bought these and these and a couple of others but this one I think I already had this one this is journal pages and I've just printed them out a little bit smaller and they're French you know inspired so I thought they'd be lovely backgrounds <coughs> oh excuse me a sneeze had to come right now and then I sewed some roses and French writing and script and then I also bought well I already had those so I'll just move those aside um, and then I bought uh, these pages. Now these are journal pages, but I printed them out to, to a page a little bit smaller because I might even um, fussy cut some of the roosters out. I might cut them. It depends what I... I don't even know what I want to do in this video, guys. Maybe I could just show you the things. These I already had, but I like them as backgrounds. So it's all nostalgia graphic. And, and the, I mean, you should visit that shop if you haven't already. It's just wonderful. It's like... You just want to buy everything. And then also what reminds me of the French countryside, especially the south of France, not that that was in the specifications, um, are lavender. Lavender, I absolutely love lavender. Um, so, yeah, so there's, I, bought, I got lavender pages as well. And then I just bought this paper pack that they had. Um, it looks like wood. Um, so, I, yeah, I just got that and printed out a few of those. Oh, here's some more lavender. So these are, again, these are um, pages, but they're printed smaller, two to a page. And then these are printed bigger, one to a page. And I got a few lines on some of them because my printer was playing up. And then um, oh, I already had that one. Oh, that, those I was just testing out the size. And there I got the line. So I probably won't use those. So I put those aside. Yeah. Okay, so what to make? Well... I was wondering, do I want to make some sort of, and we've done it before, some sort of file folder sort of shaped sort of thing is what I'm thinking of. Um, and I'm imagining a little bit of cheesecloth um, and maybe a bit of lace as well. And I was thinking, I wouldn't even mind a file folder with a window in it. So I could get this. I'd have to get my big looping thing up, wouldn't I? This would be my base. Now let me have a think about this. Let me have a think about this. So I've just, oh no, this is, yes, I've just printed most of it on um, 100, uh, sorry, what am I saying? Regular copy paper. It's about 80, 80 GSM, something like that. Just regular copy paper. So that I'm going to put them onto book page just to make it a bit stronger. So I don't know why I'm cutting. I might not cut this one. Just get rid of the excess now. I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to glue this one on here. And I might glue. Oh, look, these ones are perfect. I'll glue these. We'll do three. So we'll just get these done. So I hope everybody had a lovely weekend. I completely, because I pre-recorded my videos because we weren't available all weekend. In fact, I'm feeling a bit odd doing a video now. Um, feeling out of practice. Um, but um, I forgot that in the States it's was the 4th of July so and I didn't wish you all well on the 4th of July so I wish you all well on the 4th of July we don't have 4th of July obviously because we're not in the states um, 
but I did forget that it was a big important holiday for you guys so I do apologize for that um, I wasn't yeah I pre-recorded and I wasn't paying attention to what that what day it was is my excuse Okay, finish that one. Got another one here ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video with Lulu. I've, I've only read some of the comments and it appears so. I thought she did a great job. Oh, I wasn't going to glue that one. There you go. I'm back in action. Back in action. Well, I'll put that one over there. I would glue it on there anyway to make it into something. I'll put that over there because I'm not going to cut a window out of that one. I think I'm cutting windows out of these, but you know, things could happen. Okay, so we've got this, like so. And this, let me see here. Um, gosh, I love their papers. I'd completely forgotten about them, completely. Yeah, I think I'll do those. I'll do this one as well. So we'll do three, I said. This is one of those I don't know videos. I really started only with the kits. I didn't start with a project in mind. I need to be more organized, but today has just flown. It's just gone. The day has gone. Okay. Right. So I've got that now. I'm going to trim it down. Where's my little trimmer? I'm going to use my little trimmer. I'm not going to line it up there. I'm going to line it up here because um, it's probably not even glued down straight there. Now I can. And wouldn't you know, I turned my video on and now I'm feeling hungry. that's those they should be fairly quick once I get my act together and get my brain functioning they should be fairly quick so this could be classed as quick it's ephemera it's super quick especially when you have um, a beautiful starting product product to play with okay that's that one and so they're just they've just been reinforced with the book page that's all it well also if you were to peekaboo inside you would be able to see the book page and not white but basically these would be what i'm planning is something that will be stitched down onto a journal page maybe a little journal because these i printed these out quite small but if i printed them out bigger they could go in a bigger journal same idea okay I've got to get the big whopper up. We'll call it the big whopper. I'll move these out of the way. Oh, and it's got things on it just so I'm it's not even happier. Okay. Oh, I might have to stand up. It's too heavy. Now, I can't be pre-prepared and have this on my desk because I need to take it up, put it down, and I need to find my... I had them the other day. They are here. Here they are. My windows i'm going to use these for my windows i think and i need to oh i don't need to get anything else i've got everything okay so let's get this out right i did have some washi tape still flying around so let's grab this one first and we've got to find one that is going to be the right size I'm not going to do rounds, so I'll put the rounds away. I'll keep that one out. That one's going to be too big. Because we could have a fancy window if we wanted. That might be too big, that one. That one might be too big for there. Keep that one out. I'm not good. That's more like a tag shape, so I wouldn't use that one. No, they're really big. 
see. Okay, I think that's about my choice there. All right. Well, I might keep those little round ones out too. You never know, I might prefer one of those. I might do that each one. I could decide to do each one with a different window. Okay, so on this one, I'm thinking this is going to work. Something like that. So I'll cut that out. Now I need to find that washi tape because you know me, slip sliding along, it slides. Oh no, I like that washi tape. Oh, Lily, can you get the door? Oh, I'll just pause it, don't worry. I came back, I took the opportunity to grab a glass of water as well. Um, it was just a parcel. Um, hmm. I kind of like this one too, but I can't find that other one that I was using to... Um, oh, there it is. After all of that, I do like this one though, but it's just a little bit glitzy. It probably doesn't go with anything that I use, so I think I got it in a pack. So I'll use it just a tiny bit for this. And I'm going to put it there. I'm going to cut my window out. Now I want to do a, a French country journal. I'd like to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, noisy machine. Letting us know it's here. Okay. So I have to, this one's a little bit sticky. I probably should try and find one that's not so sticky because if I'm not careful, it rips my paper. See? It ripped the paper. I probably could keep that. That could be a little label. I could do a little drawing around it. Isn't that cute? I like that. I'm very happy. Right, this one. Might have to use the same one because look how big these are. Oh no, wait, that one might work. Yes, we'll do that one. Or, and then I was thinking this one for the other one or a round one. Not sure which one I prefer. I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of this because it does, if I'm not careful, it does rip the paper because it's very, it's, it happens to be a sticky one. You know, washies aren't you, always that sticky, only some are. But that one's really sticky. Who knows, I might only get this done inspired by French country at the rate I'm going. Let's get a chug along, it's meant to be fast. So that could also become a label. How about that, Sherry? Making my own labels. Okay, see? Good shape for a label. And then, okay, my next one, I've got this. And I've got this big space here. I have. Um, and so I thought I could have a window like that. Or a window like that. Which do we prefer? Do I need to call Madam? Um, that or that? Maybe the round. Let's be different and do the round. I'm going to stick that there. I can use the same one because I was careful how I put it off. Because it didn't cut the washing, which is interesting to me. Oh, I know why it didn't cut the washing because the cutting side is facing down. If I had it facing up, it would have cut the washi and not the paper. What a goose. There we go. Oh, it did cut it this time. Huh. Spoke too soon. Okay. So that is that. Get rid of that off my fingers. Next, we'll put this away. I won't put it away in its regular spot. I'll just put it over there. Just in case, for some odd reason, I decide I need it again. Okay. Gosh, it's heavy. Right. Rightio. Now, I haven't found my container of acetate yet. I had some left over.
Okay, I'm just trying to find the piece that I had left over. Oh, I just found the whole thing now. It was there the whole time. That's just crazy to me. It's like someone's playing a trick on me. Okay. Got tracing paper in here and acetate. So, I'm going to glue some of that in there. I don't need it to be double. I need my scissors. Oh, look what I can do. I can get this. There we go. That's a thought. Get that and just cut it bigger than that and see what happens. That'll work, you see? Okay, good. So now I need to flip this over and I've got my PVA glue here. I'll use that. I'll just, if I squish it down onto the piece, then it does not too much comes out, which is good. Okay. I still have to water down the one, the PVA that I put in that um, other bottle, which I really wanted to use, but I need to water it down because the PVA is too thick. And it's a brand new bottle, um, and the lid does have a pin in it, so it, I didn't, it couldn't possibly be clogged up because I need to just put the glue in it. So we'll let that dry a minute. And there we have a window in our journal card. This is supposed to be a journal. No, actually, this was supposed to be a, a um, journal page, but I've turned it into a... Now I'll get my little one. I've turned it into a... Um, it's going to be a something that you stitch down, as I said, onto the journal page and it will be a side tuck and I thought I might put a little um, a tab on it so it looks like a file folder sort of thing if you know what I mean put a little bit of glue around there try and stick a bit away from where the opening is a little as much as as best I can I should say um, so that I don't get too much smearing otherwise I have to get my Windex out Okay, oh, good. I've got a towel here that might help. The towel is dry, it's not wet. I forgot to be that organized and prepare the towel beforehand. Oh, I love, I love putting windows in things. It's really, it's really a lot of fun. It really is. Take my word for it. Okay, and these are just um, bits of uh, cellophane bag that I had um, packaged with and and it was a bit too long so I snipped it snipped the top off and I thought I can reuse that might as well recycle it, the bits that we can not all of it but some of it okay if I put the the opening right on down onto the surface then not as much glue comes out Oh, I dirtied it with my fingers, didn't I? Well, I can dip my towel in my water. That bit of the towel is clean. And I'll just quickly give it a wipe. Like that. Okay. It's a delicate operation. It really is. Okay. Good. It's well worth it. I, I always find it's very really well worth it. So then um, I'm thinking one of these types of tabs on it. And we need to choose a paper. Put that up there so I don't lose it. Funny that, that I say so I don't lose it, but I had lost it for like two weeks. And then I'll show you how it will work. I'm not seeing any papers here. 
Where are my other papers that I printed? Where are the big ones? What have I done? I know I had them up here with you guys. Those. Well, they are not there. Oh, they're here. What a goose. Sorry, and I whacked you as well. Just see if there's any colour here that I might like with those. No. My, otherwise, I'm just going to go into my scrapbooking paper, I think. If I can find it. Where did I put it? these that my sister gave me. What about one of these? Let's see if there's something that would... These wallpapers. They're Tim Holtz wallpapers. I don't think there's any colours there that really go, except for the green. No. Well, that's rotten bad luck. seeing my and then this was beautiful paper gifted to me some one there might be something in here if I'm lucky no no Now I have some, um, that one, I love that sort of thing, but no, I'm not going to use that there. I have, if I can find it, this. Oh, it's a bit wrong colour, isn't it? It's not really the right colour. Am I being pedantic? I think I might be. Yes, these ones I was looking for. Well, that would work. Oh, and that's tripe. Okay, we're in action. Let's, let's have a look. So that would be very nice. Okay, so let's cut about that much. Hopefully I've done it wide enough. Yes, I have. Fold it in half. Grab your bone folder. I really am fiddling around here. Okay. So you just put it just under the top so you can get it to stay. See, like that. It comes out as a hole. There. I'm going to glue that down and then I will stitch around it all but I'll let it all dry before I stitch around anything so that will I'll stitch around the window and I'll stitch around 
well actually I'll just stitch down the side because the rest will be stitched around um, when I stitch it to a page so put that there like that so it's pretending it's a file folder and then we'll do this one and let me just have a look at these like that side she might go like this get this one and you lovely ladies taught me to, when they're short, you grab some, one of these, what are they called? And make it longer. Post-its, that's it. Okay. And there we go. Take those little bits off. I mean, can you imagine taking this long to do all this stuff here? It's taking me a very long time. Oh, maybe I prefer that side. Oh, I think I do. I didn't think I would. Yeah, okay, let's flip it around the other way. So that's that one. And then this one. I might even just, I might do this one again. And I might just put one at the top of this one. Oh, no. Maybe, let me just think about that. Is it going to be side opening pocket or a top? No, maybe it can be a top opening pocket, this one. So we're going to put this one at the top. I think I'll put it here the opposite spot to the opening. I don't want to put it down too far. Just a little bit. Okay, so my thought was let me just see. Just let's pretend that this is my or this one or this one is my journal page. Ignore the, the fluorescent lines that are in there. And then this would stitch down somewhere like here down around there and it would be a pocket that you could then not this obviously but then you would then slide something in there and you've got this pretty pocket made with this pretty paper so that's the idea and then these ones I thought could um, go side you know they'd slide in sideways so just say so that was a little journaling card and you'd be able to peekaboo and see the butterfly so that's that one and that one would be the same or the other thing is they could and they're okay with the that's all going to be stitched they could also become a flip that you open and then you can see underneath as well so that's the idea with those they need to be stitched okay so we'll move on to the next thing and what is that going to be I need to do something with the chooks so let's get to those now these are lovely these um these i mean you don't have to do much to these we could take one of these so let's take the sheet and again glue it to your your scrappy bits of book page if you've printed on regular paper like i have and i'll just we'll just do this one quickly this is very quick ephemera. I mean, you have very quick ephemera when you have um, pretty things that are already standalone, look good. So this is my glue page that I've been using. Glue that on there. Makes it sturdier. And obviously there are benefits to printing on the regular copy paper in the sense that it's more cost effective than buying 
the more expensive, heavier papers. Okay, let's throw that out. And then we're going to back this. I could have probably done that before. I might even back it with this. Yeah, let's back it with that because you can write over that. It's going to be a journaling card. So I'll glue it on here. Trim around it. So I think a very pretty um, fabric and lace sort of cluster in a corner on this would be nice. Um, or a ruffle or a little bit of lace, bit of fabric sort of layering somewhere. Just keeping it very neutral. So for example, well, that could even just be its tab, that's an option, uh, or otherwise, look, what do I have up here, let me just grab it, I also have these that I always have made and I'm getting low, just using up scraps. Maybe not that piece, but something like this. Let's put that there. See, I'll glue that in place and then just stitch around it and that to me is done. And it's on paper, that one, so, um, oh, maybe I like this one more. I think I do. I'm going to use the book page. Sorry, guys, changed my mind. So let's put my glue along there and then I will zigzag around that afterwards and that's going to be oh. yeah I think I'll do that one I've got other ones I can do there so that's the idea for that one and then we've got sidetracked we're doing the um the chickens so these um round ones they are a little bit oh no they're not they're not bigger than my punch oh can't get in there, can I? So you line them up as best you can and pop it out. And they come out perfectly. Look at that. So there we go. Now. So I've got these, I've got these. So I know these are already very pretty um, pages, but I wanted the chickens. What I wanted. So, oh, that one I have to pin. Oh, that one, for example, see, that one could have something like that up the top or this. That's where that'll go. Yeah, I like that. So, we'll back that one and do that with that one. Now, what to do with the, the roosters? I need to find my scissors. Okay, I'm looking for them in the wrong spot. So I know I'm losing all this bit, but I can use these bits that I snip off in collaging those bits. So we'll just cut around the rooster very quickly.
Okay. I won't even bother cutting around. I think we'll see. I might change my mind when I put it on the background or something. But for the moment, I'm not going to bother cutting that bit out. And then I, I really like, um, I once painted one. I like roosters on a scripty sort of background. Isn't that cute? I love that. That's, that's my vision. So I'm just going to rip. And of course, the beauty of a digital is that you can print it out again as many times as you like. I might kind of do it halfway so you can get two. We'll get two little pockets or journal cards. And I like, you know, quite often like, unless I want more detail, I quite often like just printing. Even though it might become a pocket, I kind of like printing on the regular copy paper. So that way, um, because there's going to be some collaging and gluing and things, um, you know, it's not too bulky by the end of it all. I, I, I really like that. Let me cut out another one. Where's the, where's the other one gone? Oh yes, I think that one would be lovely on there. I hope it fits. Okay, let's quickly cut. I might bring, if I bring my basket over, life would be much easier, wouldn't it? You just drop your your bits in there without having to pick them up and chuck it, chuck them. <laughs> Although I do like the chucking action, I must say. It gives me great satisfaction just chucking it. I'm not worrying about the mess. Okay, so I'll cut that off. Think, oh yes, I like that one on there. You see from from the so that's a really good kit to buy actually. The ones that are the book pages, especially because um, the journal pages, because you know you can rip them down and make them um, into journal cards and pockets and all kinds of things. So they're they're quite versatile. And you've got journal pay. You can have them as journal pages as well. So we're just going to glue that on there, like so. Crooked, and we're going to glue that one on. And I think this one will be a journaling card, and this, the, because it's quite big, and the other one can be a pocket. So I'm just going to cut this one out. Let's cut the excess off because I'll back that one. Right, we'll cut this one out. And I've got to make sure I stick the right one on. But I think I might like a little bit of something. Maybe not that one. I think I'll put a little bit of cheesecloth or something behind it. Will this one be too fine is the question. No, we'll just stick a piece of that on there. glue that down and then grab my chickadee 
on my rooster, I should say. Perfect. Use this, that'll help. Great. And then I'm thinking, I just had a look over here and I've still got Marguerite Miller's um, gorgeous things that she sent me. And I'm just trying to see if there's, I probably should put a French one on. I don't think, I really, I'm not going to sit here all day looking to see if they're French or whatever. I think I like that colour. I'm just going to go more with the colour than where it's from. I'm going to put a stamp on there. And that's going to be my little pocket. we have a little pocket there just stitch across there and then when you put it in your journal if you're stitching it in then you stitch around the there and it, uh, if you're not stitching it in you're going to glue it in then I would stitch around it all now so it looks like it's been stitched so that's that one now this one here it's the top so we're going to have this one on there we do need something else and I thought maybe something like that would be nice or one of the lacy ones. Where did they go? Oh, over there. Okay, so let's just back this with a paper for writing. We've got this one here. I wonder if there's enough there. Yes, there is. So get some glue on here. Might as well use up our scraps. Now I did have these nice papers that were left over from where I cut the chicken or the rooster out from. Oh yeah, I like that. Maybe. I think I like it more without it. Maybe down here. Rip that bit off. it more without it so quite like that um, it's too white give me a piece of this one what I'm going to do. So I need to put this one down. And I might just grab the PVA for that. Put some PVA on here so that way. Oh, that was the back. I like the back more. Stick that down there. glue on my rooster and then that one's done and 
Do we need anything else? I don't think so. I really like that. We might put a tab. That tab. This could be a tab. That could be a tab. What I might do is just with the pen, it's just a big pen, go around like that. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, and then fold it over. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm going to glue that there. I might even glue it right down like that. No, just slightly up. Okay, let's just put some glue on and get on with it. Oops. I always forget when you die cut, you've got to be careful with the glue stick because it just look at the big chunk that came out of my glue stick. Because they've they get the things get funny edges on them when they've been die cut. Okay. I might slide it down. I think I like it more slid down. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then we'll do one more thing. I was thinking about these. Well, I might not do anything with them, but I'll just say, well, we could do a cluster. Um, these, I like these especially on um, belly bands. I've seen, um, actually, this could be good. Let me just trim this down. Oh, even that side's nice. So we'll just trim it down. Just say I wanted to make it into a pocket. And I could have that side. Let me look at the roosters. See that one? Or I could have that side. I think I like that side. So maybe I'll use this one because I like the flower on that one. And I'm going to put that there. I just want to see what this... I think I'm going to glue that down. So, and then I'm going to grab some cheesecloth. I always like these with a little bit of cheesecloth behind them. And that I learned from Artie Mays, Andrea from Artie Mays. Is really cute and then that can be like something that you could stitch in the top of your page around there and it's a, a tuck that way or it could be a little tuck down the below whatever you like and you could round the corners if you want to um, or otherwise they're really cute as um, belly bands as well so say so for example just say this is my journal page how cute is that that can go there it could go up there and be a tuck under there super cute yeah okay so that is it my inspired by um french country and chickens so got this one here that's a journaling card i have to stitch around there i could decide to put no i'm not going to I'm not going to decide to do that because I think it's too much. I'm going to put that one of those on that one. Um, that's a pocket. I like them. Uh, journaling card. That was really simple. And then these, as I said, they can be flips or uh, stitched onto a page as a pocket, whether a side tuck or a top tuck. So I really like those. See, little chicken. Look, you can have a little journal card with a little round chicken peeking out. Have that one. See, 
that one behind like a gemming card. Oh, that's a good idea. Make a journal card and make sure you put that in the right spot and then it peeks out there. So that's my idea, my inspiration for French country and chickens. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.